a B composite type 5 axis. Which 5 axis are these 5 axis? I will introduce it to you today. So let's look at the hand wheel. It can control X, Y, Z, and 4, 5 axis. It's the 4th and 5th axis. It has a total of 5 then axis. Then let's go to machine. Which 5 axis are they? First, we can see that on the machine. This position is marked on the X axis. Let's look at the Y axis, again. There is a Y axis, so let's look at the Z axis again. This position has a Z axis. This is the 3 axis of X, Y, Z. Let's look at the 4th and 5th axis. What about this shaft of our ejector? It's a shaft. Because it rotates around the X axis. Then we look at the 5th axis. The 5th axis is the B axis, because it can go around the Y axis. Then I'll go to the handle. Let's take a look. Next. One motion per axis. Move left and right, and you do that with the hand wheel. Look at the whole noise. It's moving left and right. This is the x-axis. Moving back and forth is our y-axis. We can see the noise. It can be moved back and forth. Look, this ball screw is also rotating. Okay, let's look at the z-axis. The z-axis can move up and down. You can see that the whole head can be lowered. Okay, this is our z-axis. Then let's look at our axis again. The axis is the top of our dimple shaft. The needle shaft can also rotate. You can see it. Okay, let's look at the B-axis again. B-axis, we can also make the B-axis go around. Hi, here's these 5 axes. And what about these? It's five really axes. capable of 5 axis linkage. Now we know that we have 5 axes.